What's going on, guys? Another big bat urbex band, no urbex, abandoned adventure extravaganza with free talk, free and Mr. Reardon Riders what is in the up, house. Guys? What is up, guys? We're being loud, obnoxious, and uh, guess where we are, guys? Big abandoned hotel, like three floors, been abandoned for such a long time, been on the scene for about 15 years, probably 10, 15 years. Lots of people been here. This is our first time. Never bothered, right, Rider? Never bothered. We just never bothered man. to check it out, but now we're here, guys. So what we're going to do, we're going to cue the music, cue the intro, see you guys on the other side. Okay, guys, Rider and Rider's done dinking around. So we're going to start at the very top floor, and right now it's not looking good, guys. It's empty, not much to see up here. we got a rolled-up carpet. Hopefully there's not somebody in there. Given the city we're in, you never know, guys. You never know. Another room here, wood panels, red chair, purple door. Got an old fridge right here. It's called the cold spot fridge. I'm not opening that though. Okay, guys. Here we got a room with a bunch of uh, mattresses, air conditioners. Okay, okay. Here's another room. This is pretty cool. I'll come up here and take a shot a little bit later on. And uh, you got a bed and old TVs. Really dusty. This is definitely a trashy old room. Look what we got here, guys. Mirror number one. What is up, guys? Who's counting? Who's going to count the what is up, guys? Guess, guess, guess what? There's another one, guys. What is up, guys? Okay, we're going to turn my light on here. And what's this? We're going to go up here. We're trying to set a stairs here. So we're going to see what goes on up here, guys. Okay. The floors are a little bit uh, questionable up here, guys. Here we got a bathroom. Standard old bathtub. And you got a toilet there. And uh, if you look over here, you've got a mirror, which means what is up, guys? I believe that's number three. So yeah, guys, this is an old hotel, and uh, here you've got a kitchen with uh, your, your stove top and sink. Another room, as you can see, guys, very old and very seedy. Definitely a very seedy joint in a bad part of town in a not-so-nice city. There you go. Make sure you get those mirrors, Rhythm Rider. <laughs> Here you go. I said, make sure you get all those mirrors. Oh, I am. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Wood paneling. Isn't this nice, eh? Radiator heating. Tables. Seedy guys, seedy. Look at these lights. Aren't those special? Take a look at that right there. Bang. Okay. So, this is the upstairs. Very top floor. There's the ceiling coming down. Guys, it is warm up here and gross. The higher up we are, the thicker and grosser the air is. So we're going to make our way down. And gradually it'll get nicer and nicer. Okay. You gotta check every room, guys, just because you never know what you can find. Check out this room. I'm gonna take some cool shots in here for sure. Yeah. Cool stuff. This is awesome, guys. So old. Check out this old desk here. Oh, look what we found here. What's up, guys? This place is going to make for some good picks. Yeah, it is. For sure. Check this out, guys. Whoa. Two beds. A lot of paint peels. Oh, it stinks in here. Look at this mattress all folded up and... Looks like someone peed the bed pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
got a really snazzy brown leather jacket there. What else do we got in here? <laughs> Look at how dusty this room is, guys. It's just disgusting. I see another respirator on the ground. Could probably use that. That's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna go over here. Let's see what's in room 87. What's room 87 all about? Guys, this is cool stuff right here, man. This stuff is so old. Check out this room. The old ass TV. Check out the bed. These old, stupid old pictures that they put on the walls. What is up, guys? I like this room right here. Room 87, guys. I like room 87. Like... I got a feeling Ridden Ryder and I are going to be here for a minute. I think so. Hey, this is a good place. This is. Wow. So full of Janet. Yeah. Colors, textures, decay. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think so far? Are you guys liking this place so far? I'm loving it. Loving it. What is up, guys? We got to turn my, my uh, light off for this one. What is up, guys? Bathtub there. Bathroom. And, uh, what do you always say? What is up, guys, in the mirror? What is up, guys? What is up, guys? Now that we've done this whole main floor, we're going to go up to that attic where uh, free photography was. See what's up there. A lot of nice light in here, guys. We don't have a bed in this room, but uh, it's looking good. Watch this, guys. So we got a couple chairs here. What do you think, guys? Is this a blood stain? What do you think? That looks like a blood stain to me, guys. Most definitely, 100%, I think that's a blood stain. I'm going to stick with that because it looks like a blood stain, guys. Check out this picture. So colorful. So bright and colorful, guys. Okay, and that's the door there. So let's just take a nice, easy walk down this hallway. And then we'll take a trip down the stairs to the next floor, okay? There we go. Check this out, guys. It says dye red rum. On the mirror there. That's pretty scary. Here's the here's the staircase, guys. The main staircase that goes down the middle of the joint, all the way down to the bottom there, as you can see. Take a look up. There you go. We'll head down. Now we're on floor number two, guys. Check out the old vacuum cleaner. All right, what do you think, guys? Left or right? I'm going to go left this time because last time we started right. So this room here, guys, is full of stuff. Come on in. We got a bunch of records here on the floor. A bunch of vinyl. Check it out. It's very uh, damp in this room, guys. Make our way up here, and we'll go on over here. We got a lot of water dripping from the ceiling. We got a super scary mask right here, guys. Super scary. There's the record player right there. Most definitely someone was chilling in this room, guys, and living in here for a while. Because there's a lot of stuff in this room. You got some stained glass here. And then you got a bunch of uh, 45s. 
You got a calendar from 1998 right there. And all this vinyl here is just ruined. Check this out, guys. Got a Madonna, Madonna picture record there. You got a Sony Walkman. Check it out, guys. Sony Walkman. You don't see those anymore, do you? Moving along, guys. I'm kind of step on all these records because, I mean, oops, I don't. Okay, guys, we got cut off there. The video stopped, but you didn't really miss anything. So we're going to move on now back into the hallway and check out some of these other rooms here in this abandoned hotel. Here you've got this, uh, the bed here. It almost looks like somebody could be in it, guys. Somebody could be in that bed right now. It could be a dead person. There's so much going on on this bed that you never know, guys. You never know. Moving along to room 61. And again, this floor seems to be very uh, packed full of stuff here. Lots of stuff going on in this room. Brochures and pamphlets and what have you. And I believe room 60 is locked. I think we tried this room. Yeah, we can't get into room 60, guys. What is in room 60? And then here is another door. And you got some TVs there. Okay, guys, room 60 just needed a little bit of elbow grease to get the door open. So I had to put my camera down. So we can get into room 60 here. Now I can't get in here because the carpet's in the way, but we can squeeze in here, guys. We can squeeze in here. Okay. Chairs. Room 60 is full of chairs, guys. Really wasn't missing much. Chairs and TVs. And in here, more TVs. Somebody must have thought that these TVs were worth something. So... I got an idea for a little bit later on. I gotta come back here and have some fun with these TVs. But not right now, guys, because we're still filming. No goofing around while we're filming, okay? I can get through this door, guys. Whew, okay. Moving right along. Now to the right side. I think Ridden Rider's back here somewhere. Another room. We got some booze here, Rhythm Rider. Yeah, we do. Look at this. Gordon's Gin, Smirnoff, Bailey's. And do some drinking in here, guys. There's your bathroom right there. Somebody made a mess in the toilet. And, uh, what is up, guys? Something tells me that this is not just like a stay here for the for the night because you're staying in town hotel. I feel like this is the kind of hotel that people that don't quite have the means would live in for an extended period of time. Check this out. I love in these green chairs. Hey, guys. Definitely got a 70s and 80s feel going on here. Check out the, the single bed, the twin bed there, guys. There you go. We got that there. You know, there I am. What is up, guys? <clears throat> Sink. I think Urbex Jamie just found the, the mother load here. Check this room out, guys. Check out all the vinyl, guys. There's some unopened vinyl here. Yeah, that's crazy, eh? Wow. Oh, man. Some quality stuff. Check out Charlie Pride on the floor. <laughs> shark dresser. Guys, this is a lot of like, disco era stuff. Yeah, definitely. This room here is packed full of uh, mattresses. That's what those things are called, guys, mattresses. Another sexy room here. We got 
an old coffee maker, some light bulbs, tumblers, glassware, and what have you. A bunch of glassware here, guys. Santa, green chairs. Huh. What's in room 66? Okay. 66 has got some stuff, guys. Check it out. We got some tapes. What is up, guys? What is this? New Year's Eve party sign, guys. A handmade New Year's Eve party sign. Doesn't say what year, though. Doesn't help us much, does it? What we got here? What we got here, guys? Your typical bar poster here. We got the guy. can't really get a good look at this guys because I don't have two hands to use I only have one hand right now sorry guys what is up guys what is up guys look at the glassware right here there's a box of this shit where's that right here oh right there oh, these here. are like beakers or something wow. some sort of there's a whole box oh, it's like them. lights or something like no, light. I think they're like for because there's, there's measurements on them. Oh, shit. It's like glassware for something Pyrex. Huh. I don't know. Weird, guys. Weird. I don't know what that is, guys. I gotta change my battery. I put a, a dead one in there. Oh, Ritter and Ryder's gotta change his battery, guys. Change battery, guys. <laughs> this is a comfy room here. The kitchen. With a really nice looking uh, kitchen table. And then you got your stove right here. Up against the window. And then here's this old ass fridge, guys. Check out this old fridge. Yeah, there you go. And then check out inside the cupboard here, guys. Some 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 mugs and stuff. Oh, look at these light fixtures. Just hanging in there. Yeah. yeah. Don't want to be loud here, guys. The window's yeah, open. Yeah. We don't want to cause shit now, guys. Okay. Did I already go in this room? I like this room. I can't wait to take pictures of this place. These rooms are so awesome. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to move on back down to the next level now, which is the main floor, because we're on floor number two right now. So we're going to make our way down back to the stairwell, down floor number one. What are you guys thinking of this place? You liking it? Super retro. Super old. Here's another look here at the staircase. The main staircase of the building. You got peeling wallpaper coming off the walls. And then down here, guys, you've got a bunch of stuffed animals. Some kind of prizes probably for a game. And then you got this interesting here, family crest. Right there. Okay, guys, so now we're going to take a look down here. We're on the main floor now. There's a bunch of uh, mattresses there. And we'll go to the right first. Here we've got a really cool old video game sitting right here. Check it out. Armor Attack. Video game. And this seems to me like it's probably the office. There's a bunch of uh, hotel registration paperwork here. There's some uh, photos there of people having fun. Frolicking about. Yeah, this is definitely the office, guys.
Check it out, guys. Titanic on VHS. Check it out. All right, we just got a bunch of garbage here, guys. And uh, carpets rolled up. Hopefully there's not a body in here. Look at that, guys. We got some, uh, we got some Bud Light beer coasters. And we've got a bottle opener right down there. And then this old, old ass photocopier. And then we're going to move into here, which is some kind of a storage room, guys. This is going towards the kitchen, guys. This is the office. Yeah. Look, there's a giant thing of kidney beans from Topps Friendly Market. There you go, guys. Yeah, we are definitely in the kitchen here. Okay, guys. So we've got Freezy Slush Base. We've got Nestle Quick over here. Check it out, guys. And it's still full. Check this out, guys. Nestle Quick. And if I can get this open, oh, I'm going to open that, guys, and we're going to see some Nestle quick, all right? Here, we got tomato, so tomato soup and kidney beans. Up here, we got tomatoes and pineapple juice and spaghetti sauce. Most definitely, guys, we're in the kitchen now. Blue Curacao. There's a safe right here, guys. People like to get excited about being finding safes. Not me, though. I don't get excited about that. Look at this. We got a meat grinder or something. What is that? Oh, no, that's a hamburger press. That's for pressing hamburger patties, I think. And then you got some more stuff there. Okay, guys, hold on a sec. I'm going to try and open up this, uh, this Nestle Quick here. Be right back. Hey, guys, what's going on? Urbex Dave here. Thanks for always coming by and subscribing. First of all, I really do appreciate everything you guys do for me by following me here on Facebook, on my website, on Instagram. I do have a favor to ask though. You see, YouTube has done a really good job lately at bringing my videos to a pretty good audience of people. But what I've noticed though is that a lot of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. In fact, over 90% of the people who actually watch my videos find it through YouTube suggested videos and aren't subscribed. If you're one of those people who've come to my channel through YouTube suggested videos, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below and sub to my page. So do me a favor, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and let's help grow my channel. And finally guys, I have started a Patreon account and I've been lucky enough to get myself a few loyal subscribers to my Patreon and those people have actually helped me pay for some of my road trips. So down below there's a link that says help support me on Patreon if you guys can. Any amount helps. Help support me on Patreon, guys. I always appreciate everything you guys do, and there are very many little goodies that I'll give you as a Patreon subscriber. Thanks a lot, guys. Let's get back to that video. Okay, guys, you ready? I got the Nestle Quick open, so we're going to shine our light down inside there. Check it out, guys. Hold on. It's not easy to get these. There you go. Look at that. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, guys. <clears throat> Check it out, guys. Nestle Quick. And smell it. It still smells like chocolate. It's very moldy, though. Um, I did find a giant cock right there. Go show Brandon Ryder. He's going to want to see this for sure. Hey, UBJ. Check this out. Where are you? Right here. I found a giant cock. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, Ritter Ryder thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> there's a there's a thing in there of Nestle Quick, the powder. Yeah. It's still powdery. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna finish this and I'll get over that. What is up, guys? <laughs>
Okay, guys, can we get in the kitchen? Oh, we're in like the serving area here. And then if we open this door here. Yeah, now we're in the kitchen, guys. Oh, what a dumpy kitchen where this is. Check it out. You got some uh, shell pasta right there from Topps Friendly Market. And uh, <coughs> what else we got here? There's your stove. You got a slicer here. Here we got some, some sauerkraut right here, guys. Check it out. Wait a minute. We got some, I think that's some peaches probably. Sauerkraut. And we got some canned mushrooms. Guys, this place has got it all. We can have a meal in here for sure. Anyways, I'm getting out of the kitchen because I can't stand the heat. <laughs> okay. Whew. Get me out of here, boy. Okay, now we're in the bar, guys. Okay, guys, this is scary right here. So scary. Okay, I'm gonna go to the left because we're in riders to the right. I'm done on this side. Okay. I used to. I used to came here once. <laughs> I just recognized the name of the bar. Nice. <laughs> Hear that, guys? Urbex Dave came here back in the day. Way back in the day. What do we got here? Check this out, guys. We got some. Uh, we got some girl Polaroids here. Hold on, let's have a look. Okay. Let's have a look. Hawaiian Tropic Girls. You got this one right here, this little this little dish. Okay. Let's see if I recognize any of these girls' names. What do you got here? Another one. Another one. Check them out, guys. Roseanne. Tracy, Hawaiian Tropic Girls, what is up, guys? Okay, enough of that. I'm a married man, guys. I don't look at these pictures of girls anymore, okay? Tumblers. We got a number of tumblers here. It's still pretty warm, guys. I mean, it was warm up top, but man, it's still warm in here. Yeah, this was, uh, coming here back in the day, guys, this was a seedy bar in a seedy part of town. And, uh, not proud to say it in the least bit, but yes, guys, I have been here in this establishment when it was open many, many years ago. I'm talking probably 20 years ago, guys, that I was here. Here's your pool table right there. Okay. So the bar is over there on the left. There's like an old, uh, Looks like an old gas pump right there in the red thing. Can't get to it though, guys. There's Ridden Rider. What is up, He's guys? still Urbexing. Urbexing, hard. Hardcore Urbexing. I think he's gonna do the basement. All right. Guys, we have some pornography here. Not sure you want to look at this, but there's some pornography there. We're not going to focus on that, though, because that's not what we do here, guys. Okay, we got another pool table here. I just got to hike my pants up. My pants are falling down. Pool table. We got some pure strawberry jam right there. Now, let's check this out, guys. We just got Rick rolled, guys. Check it out. We just got Rick rolled by a bando right there. Rick Astley. He got us. We got here. We got ministry right there. We got Bobby Vinton. We got here Ben Hur 
on vinyl. Hootenanny. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the Chad Mitchell Trio, Marius and Miranda, Joe March, David Hill, Terry Gilkison, the Samplers, Betty and the Duke at the Hootenanny. I don't think I've ever used the word Hootenanny in my life. We got here some jazz and new sound of the stars. Something Italian here. And then we got the uniques. Look at these guys. The uniques. Wow. All right. Moving along, guys. What the heck is this? Look at this thing, guys. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Yeah. Look at this thing. I think you, you put your fingers in it and then you move it around. Yeah. I think that's what you do anyways. But yeah, guys, I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Weird. Guys, there's a lot going on in this place. There's so much stuff and there's so much junk and garbage in here. You got, a, you got a piano at the back of the house. Okay. And it works. So we go. Wait. No. No, it doesn't work very good, guys. I should say it doesn't work very well. It doesn't work very well. Hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. There's a lot to take in in this place. There's so much stuff here. We're going to go behind the bar now, okay? Let's see what's up behind the bar, if we can even get there. I don't think we can get behind the bar anymore. See, I thought we could get behind the bar right here, but we can't. But we got a bunch of beer bottles back there. Still full, too. Man, we still got to get to the basement. Wait till you see what's in the basement, guys. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to see if I can get behind the bar. Okay, guys, I don't really care that much to go all the way back there and jump over all this shit. So just take a look here, guys. We're going to go to the left side of the bar. We got a bottle of Labatt Blue right there. It's still got beer in it. And we're going to come around this way. And you've got some bottles there. You've got a, a Heineken, a Mickey's, a Soul, and a Mike's Hard Cranberry Lemonade. They're still full. Here you've got three uh, glasses still with booze in them. And then over that way, you've got more. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the bar area. So Ridden Rider is downstairs right now. So I'm going to take a walk over this way. And we're going to see what's going on downstairs with Ridden Rider. I'm pretty overwhelmed here, guys. There's a lot going on here. Which way did we go to get downstairs? What's this right here? Mustang. There you are. You scared me, Ridden Rider. What's this? Oh, it's the DJ booth. Oh, that's a that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ridden Rider just scared me, guys. <laughs> there she is, eh? The Labatt Blue Girl. Oh, yeah. She's looking good. The DJ booth. This is where it all happens, guys. More. Look at Paula Abdul. Did you see the Rick Astley record over there? Yeah, I did. I got <laughs> <laughs> we got some CDs here. Oh, look at this. Much Music Dance 97. What are the songs? Notorious B.I.G. Hypnotize. Nice. L.O. Cool J. Doing It. Some real classics yeah, here. Yeah. Oh. U2 Disco Tech. Love Inc. Broken Bones. KRS One. Ho oh. ho. Man, if there was a light, there's a power cord right there. Oh, we can get some light going on. Yeah, here. that would be good. Oh. It's already up. Yeah. Freedom Rider's touching things. He's yeah. gonna get it electrocuted. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go downstairs now. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs and start taking pictures. All right. I've done my outro. Yet. Okay. I've done everything else except the DJ booth. Okay. Here we go, guys. Downstairs here, stairway is covered with uh, with mattresses so we don't hurt ourselves on the way down. 
Guys, this is the stallion room. You know what goes on in the stallion room, don't you? I don't. So this is obviously some other type of lounge, guys, in the stallion room. It's just got a lot of garbage in here. There's lights and there's construction equipment. I'm not going to go through and like look at everything, but because there's really not much of interest down here. But this is the stallion room, guys. Oh, okay. So, guys, this is where we're going to find some cool stuff. Wait till you see what we found down here. None of these rooms have anything interesting except for all the way in the back here. You'll notice that there's power, which is super weird, given how rough shape this place is. It's really weird that it has power. So check this out, guys. For starters, we've got bottles here of uh, Formosa beer, and they're all full. Watch. See that? That's a full beer bottle of Formosa beer. And then we're going to go in here. And no, sorry. Oh, yeah, there's a uh, straight ahead. Those are all cases of full Formosa beer. Okay. And then we head over this way, guys, into this room. And this is where it's all at, guys. Old Milwaukee cans of beer still open. Like everything, guys. Everything. Schlitz. Schlitz beer, cans, still open. Look at over here, guys. Molson Export, Coors Light, Blue, Blue Light. Like, everything, guys. Amstel. Then up here, Molson Excel, near beer. Like, you got coolers, margaritas, everything, guys. Still full unopened unused like it's a mess but if you take a close look it's crazy hey man and then there's some more right there guys undrink beer coors light black label old milwaukee i mean when they closed the joint down the least they could have done is brought the beer with them that's what I would have done, right? There's another storage room here. Nothing really in there. Okay, guys, I'm going to head upstairs. And we're going to wrap this puppy up. Be right back. Okay, guys, that wraps this one up. This has been a super cool, super old abandoned hotel. And uh, down in the links below, guys, in the description, I'll have some history and some write-up of this joint. Uh, maybe I'll put some voiceover. I don't haven't decided yet what I'm going to do here. But anyways, guys, this is it. Couple of things, guys. Number one, links down below for Rhythm Rider. Follow him on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Right now, his link is right there. Hit that little button right there, guys, and you can follow him right there on YouTube. Guys, I'm sweating. It is hot in here, boy. Couple of things, guys. Hit that like button right down there. Hit that like button, like my video. Number two, drop me a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of this place. Tell me where you live. Tell me what's your name. Tell me something about you. I don't care. Just drop me a line down below. Number three, guys, share this video. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Do you use Reddit? Share this video. Tell your friends to watch it. Last and most importantly, guys, if you're not already following me, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my page, subscribe to my channel, watch my stuff, think you're going to like it. Thanks for watching, guys. Ridden Riders upstairs, I'm right here. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.